Hey my Cancers, this is Sarah Bay here with Flirty Savage Spirit and we're going to get into your next seven days of your love scope, your boom boom boom. What is up with Cancer for the next seven days in their love life? I appreciate all those that have already subscribed to my channel. If you like this video, give me the warmest courtesy of actually pressing subscribe at the end. But Cancer, let's see. What's going on in Cancer's love life this week? And one more here. The tower is in reverse. Let's see. Three of Pentacles, it's showing here. Seven of Wands. Two of Wands in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse, and then the Emperor in reverse. Okay. So you could be possibly dealing with an Aries um, or someone that is very childish, immature, has an, a hard time making a decision, or either currently Cancer, you are pretty much standing in this energy, could possibly be. Um, I get that someone is wanting to either prevent this tower from falling or actually is trying to salvage um, something uh, like, you know, an argument or a situation of where the tower has already fell. But it does seem like that someone is wanting to work together and stand their ground, like they're willing to fight for this connection with you. Um, it seems as though someone may have made the wrong decision of picking like the wrong partner at some point in time recently. Um, of where they chose the other person, maybe like a baby mother, baby daddy, or someone that they have like a family oriented situation. Um, I'm also hearing that it could have possibly been someone allowed like something that was said in their family to get in the way of this connection. And they kind of chose like gossip or just, you know, advice from the wrong people. And it caused them to to create a situation within the two of you guys. It don't necessarily have to be a complete breakup, but some type of friction that was caused in between you guys. And now someone here is wanting to re-savage, not re-savage, but actually uh, go back to the drawing board of saying like, hey, what happened? Where did we go wrong? Um, what's up? I also get that... <clears throat> Someone maybe like you maybe or one of the two of you guys could be the person that comes back and are trying to move forward in this situation. But you end up not actually having a reconciliation because, you know, one or both of you guys still want to argue about it. Like instead of you guys are trying to find a solution to the problem at hand, y'all are finding more arguments. Y'all are finding more motherfuckers to be calling each other, you know, um, and it turns into like a childish kind of immature impulsive rush i'm getting very much so like rush decision to come in or you say something impulsively and it kind of ends uh this possibility of a reconnection so be mindful if this is resonating with you and someone like try to pop back up and say hey stranger if you are really wanting a reconciliation with them you may have to you know kind of put your pride to the side just a smidget just a little bit just to be a little bit pleasant with them. Um, don't let them walk all over you or nothing like that. But, you know, maybe not like blank off on them as soon as they say, hey. And you're like, what you mean, hey? You know what you did. <laughs> I'm also getting heavy presence of somebody here may have, may have got caught cheating. Um, and that's a situation that's going on here and also get someone like does not want this person back and it's like so why are you why are you hitting me up you already know the answer is no like why are you playing with me I thought I blocked you how did you did you really just make a LinkedIn profile in order to message me like we're going to that extremes like oh my god the Empress is here represented by Libra and Taurus energy uh, strength for Leo and then justice for Libra. So that this is some strong kind of energy right here. Uh, I do feel like someone is trying to step in because this is like baby daddy. This is baby mother, right? The emperor and the empress uh, that's here. The emperor is childish and immature. The empress is trying 
to stand more so in her creativity, her beauty, um, her, you know, I'm not going to let you take me out of character. It's like either you want to step up and make something shake with me or you don't. Either way it go, I'm going to be like, OK, here. I also feel like that that someone may end up getting like a surprise engagement this week. Just randomly, like I feel like that, you know, or someone like fakes an argument and that's part of the surprise proposal, perhaps. Yeah, it, it seems like something like that or where, you know, it's not really an argument, but then they like, boom, now they're down on one knee and you're like, wait, what? What just happened? Um, and you don't know if to take them seriously or not. I also feel like for those of you guys who are in conflict with some with anyone, um, justice is going to be brought to this situation. Justice is going to be brought to this situation. Um, some type of balance is going to come. There is going to be a meeting of minds and figuring out how you guys can, you know, go forward, you know, standing on the ground that you have a passionate relationship. You have a good, you know, found firm foundation between the two of you guys and you want to I actually make it work I'm also just kind of feeling like this row right here is a little bit separate from the initial six cards uh, like this is a, a completely I'm not I don't feel like it's all one scenario I feel like this is multiple scenarios as always it's kind of like how I read it's just what what tickles your fancy is what's fancying for you okay <laughs> So let's just say that. So take, take, you know, what applies and what don't just be like, okay, that ain't for me. Right. So basically so far, what we have is someone standing their ground, uh, you know, in some type of, of, I want you back. I know, you know, I may have been wrong or I know that we may have broken up or I know we are having problems, but I'm willing to fix this. Are you willing to fix this? I'm also getting, secondly, you know, someone could have chosen the wrong person, uh, but now they're back trying to boss up and choose you, or either you're having a difficult time letting that person go since they've chosen someone else. Um, I'm also seeing a surprise proposal that is here for some people, and then a building of a relationship uh, that goes further, like a strengthening of a bond, especially if you guys are already married or if someone here is pregnant. This could also mean could be that someone is announcing or finding out that they're pregnant this week. And this brings like a makes you guys stronger, have a stronger bond, especially if you've been trying to get pregnant for a while now. And in, in, if you're married, it seems like that that really applies to you. Cancers. Let's see. And look at there. We have wedding that matches with the justice card. So again, someone could be getting proposed to or you could just be having a wedding this week. If you're having a wedding this week, I just hope that keep your in-laws and your family members and stuff in check. Um, make sure they don't try to come to the rehearsal and try to act out or try to, you know, take over what you're doing or something like that. Just make sure that you are happy in whatever it is that you're doing. Haughtiness is here. And then we have a reunion. So again, someone could come back into your life or someone that has recently, like within the last 12 months, maybe have came back into your life and you start back dating them. Um, they could be asking you to marry them this week. Definitely. They're like, I don't want to let you go, Cancer, for those of you guys that this applies to. I don't want to let you go. I don't even think that's the song faithfulness is here um thought process and then sorrow so definitely I, I feel like that someone is feeling the heat of like I almost left lost my boo thing my baby you know I don't want that to happen so they're deep into their thoughts maybe even in regret about something that they done in the past um it's some it's a lot of sorrow that is showing here and they're coming back with an offer to be actually faithful to you, to give you something more concrete. Um, also get that someone here could be uh, in sorrow, meaning that they could be going through a, a situation in their life where they recently lost a loved one. 
or just some type of life changing situation of where it's put them in their thoughts of what it is they actually want to do. And they're ready to make this like commitment, take it to the next level. My only issue with this is, is that making sure that they are wanting to commit to you and be faithful and, you know, ask you to marry them. Make sure that it's because they actually want to be with you and they love you and they're choosing you. And it's not just because they feel like that's the next step in their life, you know. Um, they're not really doing it for the right reasons. They're only asking you to marry them because, you know, someone provided an ultimatum or it's just the family advice. Like, this is what you should do next. or this is what you guys should do next, especially since she's pregnant or he, you know, like I just, and for others, it's, it's just a happy, you know, wedding proposal as well. But I just still get like a little bit of a hint of some type of confusion of needing some type of clarity on the motives behind things. Zero fucks giving. They just ain't it, but trust the process. So for you guys that are in this, you know, mood of zero flux giving, uh, you're not going to take this person back. The, you know, this person is trying to come back and confess themselves to you. You're, you're not, you already know this ain't it and you're trusting the process and you're understanding and learning that the universe has someone better for you. And it seems like some, you know, someone is actually doing, you know, practicing some law of manifestation, uh, law of attraction processes and tools, and they feel that they are in alignment with what they really want. And they know that this person is not it. So they're like, nah, I'm good. I'll wait for the next train because the next train is going to have my boo thing, my husband, my wife, the person that I'm supposed to be with on that train. So Cancer, going to leave it pretty much there. A bunch of different scenarios as always. Um, whichever scenario applies to your life, just make sure that you trust the process. If you haven't already, I hope you do. Click that subscribe button down there at the bottom. Until next time, Cancer.